Hi guys, just taking a walk up to Devil's Dyke, north of Brighton. It's really windy today, really windy up here. Gloves on and the hat. Still beautiful sunshine. Just left the car at car park down the road there. That's the one half mile up the road here, charges a couple of quid. And as I've said a million times, that's two quid that all add up. So, there's not really a lot to see at the moment. Um, but I'll, uh, I'm really high up at this fence bit. This bit is accessible to all, but it's actually a wheelchair friendly mile and a half route. But uh, once I get up to Devil's Dyke, five miles inland, there should be some spectacular views. It's a long time, 20 years since I've been up here, so um, be quite interesting. Okay, I'll cut back once I'm up there. All this sunshine I've been having on my trip so far has just got me thinking that throughout the whole of March, April, May, June, July, August and September, seven months I think I anticipated taking me to circumnavigate the UK. Um, I'm not going to miss a single day sunshine. It's not going to be one of those sod laws where it rains at the weekend or that you book a day in a, off in advance, a month in advance. And that, that day, it just the weather's crap. So, I'm sure I'm gonna get some bad weather. And I've had one or two spots that hasn't stopped me so far. But, but on the whole, it's been a glorious march. But every single sunny day for the next seven months, I'm gonna get to really enjoy. Just noticed there's a golf course to the side of me. <laughs> All four guys wearing really bright, leery clothes walking through the bushes. Obviously, looking for a ball. <laughs> that uh, thought it was a bit weird. Normally, it'd be camo gear you know, if you're going to hide in trees, but uh, yeah, so yeah, this is great. Okay, back in a mo. Not quite up to the dike yet, but the views on the way up are amazing. Over that direction is back to Brighton. Rolling countryside. And I've just entered Devil Dyke Estate, so I'm just gonna head up towards this pub up here, and then there's stunning overviews. Now let's test, I'm gonna unplug my Unidirectional. So this is another National Trust site. It's not actually on their app. Perhaps if they updated their app with all the different sites, I would support the membership. But as they said, the nearest site from here was about 25 miles away. And in fact, this is all part of theirs. It means the car parking is all theirs. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the dike. north of Brighton. I drove halfway up, walked the rest.
related. likely to be disturbed fingers crossed and then that'll give me the opportunity of making a really early start on the walk around the dike because it'll be a Sunday uh, it'll be quite busy I'd imagine if I leave it late morning early afternoon just like today it's just really busy up there and the first bit I showed you the real steep bits which I just read on the sign is the steepest and longest dry valley in the country so uh, it's got some interesting walks and stories so that's what I'll do tomorrow morning guys down in the Devil's Dyke Sunday morning as I mentioned in a previous clip reputedly the uh, deepest and steepest dry valley in the country I'm sure there's plenty bigger than this but they've obviously got rivers running through them scenery spectacular it's still um, half eight in the morning so the sun's not high enough to come over the hills at the moment I haven't even had any early morning coffee yet so Brisk hours walk, get back, get the kettle on, and make some breakfast. This walking is certainly doing me good. I'm averaging between 10 and 15,000 steps a day, some days are over 25,000. Um, Never below 10,000, so I suppose I'm averaging near 15,000 uh, since I started this trip. And the weather's been great, so no excuses. Not that it really hurts when it's raining anyway, um, but if I compare that to my little tracking device when I was before this trip, I was doing 3,000 steps a day, three and a half, four thousand tops. I did a challenge last year where I did a minimum of 10,000 a day, that was in March last year, and I actually did 450,000 steps in March of last year um, as the precursor to losing weight in the second part of the year. I you know, really want to lose some weight on this trip. I lost three stone in the second half of last year and um, still about three stone overweight. And I think during the course of this trip, the amount of activity I'll be doing, I could realistically, and with no luxuries as well, there's well, very few luxuries on a trip like this, to visit a friend last night, um, friends, and uh, had a nice meal. But on the whole, I think I feel like I can lose another three stone this spring and summer, which would be awesome. Yeah, when I walked past the top of this yesterday, I assumed that um, this was just a side part of the dike. This is the main area of the dike, and I picked up a little National Trust map. If I can take a photograph and add it to the footage, I will do. Sometimes I say I'm going to add a Google bit and I can't. But uh, anyway, that'll do for this clip and uh, I'll do some more in a moment. There's a view back from where I've just came. Bends around. What I do know is that <laughs> I've spent the last 10, 15 minutes walking downhill. It's starting to level out a little bit now, but um, that means I've got an arduous walk back or at some point I've got to climb a very steep hill and uh, walk along the ridge. There's some people high up there on the ridge in the sunshine. So I might, um, that was behind me. So I might um, 
take this path back up and around. So that's where I've just come from. That's the path I saw the people taking up across the ridge. But there's another footpath here and I've just checked the map and that goes down to Saddlescombe Farm. So I'm going to head down there and from Saddlescombe Farm I've noticed South Downs Way runs right across the top ridge back to where I started from earlier. So that sounds perfect, probably an hour or so. Let's go for it. This footpath down's a bit boggy, <laughs> clay soil. The sounds of the birds, I can hear running water. And again, it's, it's been downhill for the last few hundred yards, so, so I've got to be climbed back up. beautiful is that? Apart from the blue pipe. Alright so I found the sign for the South Downs Way. Well, I found it a couple hundred yards back but this is um, just showing that I'm en route. I'm taking that path to the right and uh, Oh, yeah, I'm back up on top of the ridge and that was hell of a walk. All right guys, this might be the last um, great vantage point on this walk of Devil's Dyke, a few miles north of Brighton. Totally recommend it. As you can see, the views are amazing. Plenty of free places to park. It's all National Trust. In the distance there, you can see where I parked my van. It's just a little car park, 20 cars maximum, on the Devil's Dyke Road. I actually camped overnight in a very similar little car park, about half a mile further up the road from that one. Once I got up, I always pack away the, move the van out of stealth mode, back into the day van, pack on my bed in and um, move. Never stay where I've camped. So the route of my walk, um, yesterday I was up here at Devil's Dyke Public House looking out on the massive views across here this direction. But today I've, I've parked right down, right off the map this way, walked up, joined the footpath, walked down, into the dry valley down here I've taken a footpath right down here back up met the South Downs Pass here near Suddercombe's farm walked right across the ridge this was a nice steep walk back up all this way uh, right across this ridge more brilliant views South Downs Way all the way back where I met up with the uh, path that I went up and then back down to where I'm parked. It's taken me an hour and a half, brisk walk, good exercise. Now it's time for some breakfast. <laughs> 